Hello guys and welcome back to coding the Conway's Game of Life in Ruby. In the previous video I have given you a small task uh, to try to code yourself and the detection of life neighbors around a specific cell in all eight directions. Uh, hopefully you you knew how to do that. Um, if you haven't, uh, that is okay. You can just copy the code that you see here. Mm, as you can see, the code that detects those neighbors is right here. I have highlighted it for you. And I have also written the tests for that code, which is here uh, to make sure uh, in true TDD fashion that we indeed detect those neighbors. And I just wanted to point out within these um, these specs here, this cell variable, mm, this cell var variable I have defined similarly to this world uh, with this let, and it just uh, creates a new cell on coordinates one one. Mm, so that is basically it for the detection of neighbors, and now we can proceed with. Uh, uh, coding our, our four rules. So let's go back down here uh, and uh, recall uh, ourselves what we have done so far. So we began implementing rule number one um, and said that uh, it should kill a life cell with one life neighbor and we created a world and planted two seeds in there and each of these seeds has one life neighbor so both of them should be dead uh, in the next generation of this game in other words when this game takes over so let us run our specs first let's jump into our projects uh, game of life file and run our specs spec to see how we're doing and we have this undefined method tick uh, exclamation mark so let us write that method um, right up here under the class called game. Let's write define tick exclamation mark and and run our tests again. And we now see that they are failing because we're expecting this cell to be dead, but it is alive. And within this tick method, uh, we have to we have to kill off these cells with uh, fewer than two live neighbors. So how do we do that? The idea is uh, th that we have to iterate over each cell within this uh, gaming world uh, and then detect if that cell is alive, because rule 1 says any live cell, and then detect if that cell has fewer than two live neighbors, and then kill that cell. Okay, so we have to have something like, uh, within that tick exclamation mark, we have to have some world cells... dot each do cell and so right here we're iterating over each and every cell mm, and we're going to check uh, according to rule number one uh, let us just comment out so that we know rule number one you're going to have something like if that cell is alive and um, if that um, cell has fewer than two life neighbors you have to uh, write that like this world uh, live neighbors around cell and let's pass in our cell uh, count is less than two and then something okay um, and do something, let's say, let's uh, kill off that cell. So let's say something like cell die. Okay. Mm, and let's run our tests to see where are we standing. We have an undefined method cells. So let us do that. And that undefined method cells is for the, for the world object. So let's jump into the context of a world and let us make sure that it responds to that method, to method cells and let us go back here into our world mm, and let us write the adder accessor cells and let's write the, the, the add cells thingy 
here and let us run our tests to see what we get. We do that uh, cells, but we we uh, that cells is practically an empty array, and we have to fill that uh, empty cells array with these cells which we create here. So I'm going to jump um, in my tests actually, uh, and 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 create an additional test for these cells array. Yes, so it should. Um, add all cells to cells um, uh, array. Okay. Do and and let us uh, let us say something like how how to how to raise my confidence level and and write this. Um, I'm going to write something like uh, subject, which is a world. Subjects cells. Let's. I will check this with a count. Okay, should equal a nine, and it should equal nine because right above, right up here, I'm creating a default world object, and a default world object has three rows and three columns, meaning nine cells. Okay, so let me just um, run this spec uh, under number thirty-five here see whether or not I have done that and I haven't done it so let me implement it uh, I will uh, implement it with something like uh, something like cell equals cell new and then let's uh, add that cell into cells array and return that cell at the end let's run our specs uh, uh, specs under line 35 are passing and all other specs are passing except this undefined method die for this cell. Uh, so let's write our tests under the context of a cell first. Mm, it should respond to method uh, method to die with the exclamation mark. And let's go back here into our main file and write that that method. So define die exclamation mark and it should it should uh, change the alive attribute to false okay and let's let's run our specs here and we can see that all these specs are passing which is quite awesome so let's recap what we have done here mm, we have um, actually implemented the rule number one which uh, has gone pretty pretty smoothly as you can see um, and that has happened because um, we we laid our uh, code foundations pretty pretty well so now that this rule one is done um, I have another task for you I want you to implement uh, the other three rules uh, by yourself uh, that will be pretty easy uh, just you just have to follow the reasoning that you saw in this video and continue on uh, remember to to TDD everything uh, and um, if you do not uh, know how to implement some rule or test something uh, don't worry uh, just jump uh, right on to my next video well where I will show you all of the code um, so yeah uh, Please try to implement this on your own and uh, see you in the next video.